What we're going to do is we're going to go yep. through each of the candidates. You've picked out um, little bits of footage mm -hmm. that exhibit kind of the, the things you've noticed about them. So we start with Sean Gallagher. What have you primarily noticed with Sean Gallagher? Well, Sean is a real macho individual. Mm -hmm. You know, he tries, he wants us all to, certainly he wants us all to know that he is a kind of macho individual. And he projects his image largely through his face, but not exclusively. And in fact, if you deconstruct what's actually going on with the face, as we'll see in a moment, mm. you'll see that it's got certain distinctive identifying features of the macho element, particularly a kind of cowboy uh, performance. <laughs> okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. So notice, set line to the jaw. No smiling. Very, very important. At the same time, narrowing of the eyes and projection okay. of the chin. Now, the chin is an important thing because we know from research that there's a correlation between testosterone and chin size. Okay. Right? All right. All right. Uh, now, and people who've got large chins are assumed to be better leadership material. Okay. And that's, you know, it's built into us. Now, he's doing all this. He doesn't know he's doing it, by the okay. way. Okay. We have a look at it. But I also think the power of the president lies in the ability to represent the country abroad, and, and particularly at this time. Sure we'll rock along. David Norris, what, what, you've noticed something around the well, eyes Norris, there. I mean, he's wonderful. I mean, the, he know, certainly it is. It wouldn't be the same without him, would it? It would not. And he's undoubtedly, you know, the winner in the theatrical stakes. What's interesting about him is his eyebrows. Now, they're okay. almost like a pair of caterpillars with their own little life, except they move in unison. All right. And what's fascinating about the, his eyebrows is the way in which he uses them to underline certain words in order to make sure that you understand exactly what he's saying. Gotcha. Right. you have a look at it? You've asked me quite a number of questions there, in fairness, so I expect a little time to answer them, and I'll do my best, and I will answer them honestly. With regards to the letters, it, let me give you one quick answer, because I, everything was concentrated in these letters, the like of which has never been seen from the media. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Davis, what have you noticed there? Well, I mean, you see in her this need that everybody has, that is to credentialize themselves, to say to, to the public at large, do you know what? I'm going to give you a reason to vote for me. She's got a rather interesting one, which consists almost exclusively in dropping names. Yes. Well, here we go. I have uh, served in the Council of State for the past seven years, still yeah. a serving member with uh, President Macaulay, so I'm very familiar uh, with, with that role. Uh, having the privilege of serving on the Council of State with uh, President Macaulay, invited to do so in 2004 by her, I'm very familiar with her role and working up close with her. And I've been working with governments, I've been working with uh, EU institutions, with the UN, with UNICEF, with large uh, corporations. So Michael D. Your central oh. point here is okay. uh, size matters. Now, your comedian things. got it really spot on. Yeah. Okay. This thing about height is really, really important. Why? Because we know from some of the research, certainly from the American, from the American presidential elections, that height is a pretty good predictor as to who's going to win. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's a whole lot of others as well, which we'll come to later. But the thing about height is really important. So if you get a chance, look at Sarkozy, you know, with his fake heels. Uh -huh. He wants to reduce the impression that he's a short bloke. And, you know, okay. Poro Higgins has got the same problem. Now, in fact, as we'll see in the first shot here, look, yeah. he's standing on a little box. Uh-huh. And in oh, fact, I think it's he's, huge. he's looking down, wondering about his problem with vertigo there. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is the repercussions of his, uh, the fact that he's so challenged in height. Yeah. Notice, for example, he's got his hands on the top of the lectern. The okay. two reasons why people do that this, there. Either because they're feeling extremely confident, they think they're going to win, they have taken control of the situation, yeah. or because they want to create the impression that they're so tall that they're in a position to do that. And that, I think, is what he's doing there. So, M Martin McGuinness, what have you noticed there? Well, you know, he's, he's really jumped onto the gravitas train, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. You know, we watch him, particularly in the early stages when nobody's riling him, and he seems to be completely composed, very much in control of the situation. And he's doing something that's quite important for conveying an impression of authority. And that is reducing his movements to a minimum and moving as little as possible. And in fact, on this first clip, that's exactly what you see. He's almost frozen to the point where he doesn't even seem to be breathing. Okay. Of the dog. Because there is actually, like in textbooks, if you're a lawyer, if you studied law, there are examples given of when yeah. you might actually... It, could, it could happen in the context of the uh, resignation of a teacher, for example. 
you could have a situation where the president would decide to refuse to dissolve the doll. Briefly, Dana. Well, Dana, yeah, she's a kind of bleeding heart, isn't she? We just saw it yes. earlier on. Yes, that was fantastic. Yes. No, I mean, well, Donna, now, once again, her eyebrows are really fascinating. Uh -huh. What she does, she's got a characteristic way of really compounding the message. What she does is, you'll see it in a moment, she brings her eyebrows closer together. Why? To convey the fact that she's got intensity of feeling. Okay. And then she raises the, the insides, and that's consistent with a, a gesture of, um, of sadness. So she's... She's feeling intense sadness and concern exactly. for... You know, she's really worried about Mother about Ireland. Okay. We'll see how okay. it goes. Let's have a look. I've got to tell them the threat there is to our, to our constitution and to our sovereignty. So it's and a that's mission, what is it? first brought me into it. If you don't have a mission, don't bother. If you don't... And our final, our final candidate is Gay Mitchell. So, Gay, um, you, you say that Gay is quite a, a slow kind yes, of a yes. person. Yeah. No, one of the things, if you want to come across as a dominant, you slow down your speech okay. in order to keep everybody waiting and to show that you're not going to be so unconfident as to be rushed. And he does that very nicely. We see this in the next clip. All right. And the president can use that influence if the president has experience and has the energy and the commitment to do so.